Hello guys, welcome back. I hope you're all doing very well. Um, before we start with today's topic, I wanted to let you know that for next class, which is on May 7th, um, you guys are going to have your summative assessment. I'm going to be sharing all the details for it, but it's basically what we've been doing. It's going to be related to abstract art and the primary and secondary colors. So it's nothing new. Um, if you have any questions, you can let me know, but I'll let you know all the details in due time. So the artist that we're going to see today loved colors, shapes, and lines. So she's the perfect example for abstract art. Her name was Sonia Delaunay. She was from France. And she was a very important artist for abstract art. As you can see in her work, shapes and particularly colors are very important for her, especially the circles. She has a lot of compositions where she used concentric circles. What are concentric circles? It's when we have one circle inside another circle inside another circle. So when different circles share the same center, they are called concentric circles and you can see a lot of those in her artworks. Okay guys, and today we're going to do an artwork inspired by Delaunay and her style. Okay guys, so for this work we're going to need a ruler, a pencil, and different circles that you can get around your house, like tapes, different sizes, or cups of different sizes as well. And just in general, any cup or any circle that you see around the house will help you. So we're gonna start first by making a line that divides our paper in two. But you can do this line wherever you want. And then with the circles, we're gonna start putting circles in our composition. And then we can do one circle where we're only making half of it. So we stop, we stop in the line that we made first. Okay, so now I'm gonna start coloring. I'm gonna use markers, but you guys can use whatever you have at home or wherever you prefer. And we're gonna color each side of the circles that we have on both sides of the line. We're gonna color each half in a different color. Okay guys, so this is it. Um, remember, it doesn't have to be perfect. Just try to do your best. You can add more circles if you want to. And you can use all the colors and all the materials that you want. Okay guys, that's it. So please let me know if you have any questions, comments, doubts, whatever you need, I'm here to help you. Remember you can contact me through Google Classroom or my email address. Bye guys, stay safe.